Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video, and that's because I've just been so busy. You see, after working a few days in Parksville at the temp agency, it was time to head off for a subscriber meetup that I was holding in Nanaimo. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Oh, I'm not feeling so hot today. My stomach's been trying to kick my butt, so we're gonna try to make something up to eat a little later to try and help that, you know. Um, but we're gonna push on with our day anyway. We've got a few things to do today. I've got a package to pick up, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it, and I think you guys will be pretty excited to see what's going on with that as well. But yeah, I wasn't gonna run my camera today just cause I'm just feeling like crap, so. But I figured, you know what, why not? <laughs> uh, last weekend, I had a subscriber meetup. Got to meet a lot of really cool people, man, seriously. Uh, like, there's so many of you guys there. It was great to see everybody. Uh, great to meet everybody. I got to meet a Actually, I think three or four YouTubers showed up. Um, Mark the Paint Guy showed up. Uh, Brent's Van Life showed up. Outland Harry showed up. That guy is freaking awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that we're going to be doing a collaboration together here soon. Um, after the subscriber meetup, we all went to a pub. That has been a long time since I've been out to a pub, actually. Like, very, very long time. Um, but we, yeah, we hung out for most of the night, you know, it was great. Um, but then Sunday, I just basically took the day to myself to just kind of relax and stuff. And um, I think whatever I ate Sunday uh, didn't agree with me. So today we're going to try and correct that with eating something a little better. Right now I have to go grab that package. So we're going to head off and do that right now. First impression, this thing is massive. I had to use a dolly to get it out. But dig into it here in a second. So I'm obviously gonna have to move that passenger seat somewhere just so I could fit this in right now. That's what I'm gonna do. I think this will fit. Oh yeah, this will fit. Let's take out the Sterling Mountain. Holy crap. Okay, huge. I'm actually gonna try and maybe lay him down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Yeah. I'm gonna have to just deal with it for right now. We're not gonna pick that up. Um, I'm gonna go, actually I think I'll do laundry as first and then grab a shower because I'm running out of clothes. Well, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I ran over to the Dollarama to grab some laundry detergent stuff. And uh, as I closed the door to the van, I realized I locked my keys in the freaking van. So, it was a good thing I was near Dollarama. I grabbed me one of these uh, coat hangers, came out and started fishing. And it was, it, for whatever reason, I could not get the door lock to pop up. It's pretty stiff, actually. Uh, I actually had a better time of grabbing the keys from the ignition and then pulling them straight through the door crack here. Or the window crack. Now I've got 10, 10 clothes hangers. Now we can head off to go do some laundry. So let's go do that. Okay, you guys. Laundry's all set in to wash. My thought is we're going to dig into this guy a little bit. At least open it up, get it out of the box. And... Uh, I should kill some of the time anyway. So let's do it. I'm sure you guys know the name brand and uh, with trying to eat healthier and I've realized that my fridge is not really, um, it's either a fridge or a freezer. And when this company reached out to me, having the dual zone, 
I was pretty excited actually to uh, do a review for them. So yeah, let's dig right into it. It's going to take me, I'm going to have to take this out of the van, I guess. <laughs> so let's do that. I figure if I open it up now, then when I go to the dump to get rid of the passenger seat, then I can get rid of the foam and packaging at the same time. Wow. Oh, I love the color. So I didn't even ask them like a color specific. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of the box. Holy crap. Wow. This is insane, you guys, the size of this thing. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Wow, this thing is massive. It's got retractable handles, very cool. Okay, let's get it out of the box. Pack the box away. I'm just sitting in a parking lot right now, so this probably looks a bit funny to anybody watching. <laughs> But uh, we're not gonna leave no mess behind. We're gonna get rid of it all right now. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'll show you guys the fridge. Guys, this thing is massive. Oh, nice. It's got a little tray here. Beautiful. A little step down. I guess this is where the compressor sits. It even has a light, which is great. I've always had to use my phone light with my other fridge. I'm assuming this is the wiring and stuff. This is just little packets. Put that over there. Let's dig into this guy. But yeah, it's almost like an army green kind of color. So yeah, this is the instruction manual. It comes with a cigarette lighter and it also comes with a plug like this. So we will probably end up using this on the inverter right there. But yeah, that's very cool. We'll dig into that instruction manual here in a bit nice weather seal on it beautiful i love it the controls are right here we're gonna dig into that a little later sweet and then on this side it's a full depth i oh man i love how they include the trays that's great put that over there i'm gonna have to definitely make a dump run and this is very cool as well. So this tells you the temperature that you need to set it for, for whatever you have in here. For right now, I think we're just going to put it in the van and see what it looks like in whatever space. My thought was initially to put it in the same spot as my other fridge under here. But looking at it now, I don't think it's gonna fit. And if it does, I might have to modify this area a little bit. So let's just get it in and see what it looks like in the van without all the packaging. Looking at it now, it's clear how much bigger this one is compared to my other one. The other one's lid only comes to about here on my table, and this one is basically level with the table. So I don't think it's gonna fit. We will try, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, with it being such a big unit, and I'd like to do like kind of a size comparison and stuff like that with it, I think I'm gonna do a more open area where I can take both of them out and show you guys the difference in the both. And then we can dig more into installing this bad boy. I'm gonna go switch over my laundry and then I'll check back in with you guys when the laundry's done. Once I got to a more open location, I started taking apart the box that was surrounding my old fridge and getting it ready to place the new fridge in. Wow, you guys, look at the size difference in this guy. So this is the 32 quart Bouge RV. And it's only a single lid. As you guys can see, I have a few things in here right now. And it also comes with this cover to kind of help with temperature control. And it's been a great little fridge, it honestly has. But like I said, with me trying to eat a little healthier Upgrading to a bigger one, I think is the next move But I did have to disassemble 
the box that Yana built to house the fridge, that guy. So, because it just wouldn't fit, I measured it all out and it just won't fit. So I had to remove the box. Thankfully, this fridge is actually basically the same size as the box was. So when I put it here, it'll uh, be really no different. I'm gonna have the same amount of counter space in a sense. So that'll be okay. Now it's time to get this guy in here. Wow, you guys, look at that. That is perfect. I have the control in here. The power wire is going to run from here and it's gonna come through here and then hide along the bottom. And this gives it a lot of ventilation for this guy and also for that guy right there below the control panel. And then there is also ventilation right here this thing is going to be great. Um, I'm still undecided on which direction I'm going to put it. Uh, whether I'm going to have the ice co label facing out or keeping it in this direction. I think I'm going to end up keeping it in this direction. Because when I'm cooking on the inside, it'll be really easy to grab stuff. But where I was sitting up, as you guys seen in the shipping, I'm going to keep it laid down like this. For a number of hours before I hook it up so that way the whatever is inside I'm gonna read the instruction manual to make sure that that's even you know needed or necessary but yeah this thing is huge you guys look at that and remember this entire van is gonna get rebuilt on the inside I still have no insulation I'm gonna be taking all of these wall boards out I'm gonna be taking the bed frame out the only thing that's really going to stay in is the fridge, the speakers, and the power box. So, I do go to build out this van. I will make sure that if the bed face has a flat piece on it, then I'll make sure to cut out some um, breather room for that ventilation. And that's why I also I'm, uh, I mentioned that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it facing this way or face it out and have the ice cold label on the outside here because the outside label on, uh, putting it the other way would allow for all the ventilation to be right here on that side and uh but then i would have to open the door not really i guess but regardless i'm not sure on the exact placement of this we will get more into it as i build the van out but this is a huge upgrade for me in my van life and i'd like to thank ice co for hooking me up with this guy it's it's definitely a beast you know i definitely didn't think it would be this big but i am glad that it is i do have a lot of room in my van and having the fridge before i build the van out was perfect for me because then i can kind of build around it and uh not restrict it on any airflow or anything like that for right now i'm probably just going to plug that guy in in between my seats here and then keep him going for the remainder and then once this sits for a little bit um we can wire it in and plug hook it up and stuff but yeah also yes this is only speaker wire but like i said it's all temporary everything everything in this van is going to be coming out and getting redone that's a big reason why i didn't really do any build video yet because the building that i have done in this van as you guys see it now is all only temporary i'm just kind of feeling it out and uh figuring out where i want stuff and how i want things so yeah once once we get into the full strip down and rebuild of the interior then i will do like more in-depth videos on how everything is done but as most of you guys know who follow me for a long time um these pieces of wood all up in here they are just from my old white van so even down here you can see like it's just kind of mix matched together nothing is uh all of that wood is going to end up being either repurposed or getting rid of it because once i go to build it all out i'm going to need to get all kind of fresh stuff i do have a plan for the building of back here uh i may even be working with somebody that you guys 
possibly all know, which is really cool on building the uh, structures of stuff. So I'm, my goal right now is to focus on insulating, wiring, and then putting up some wallboard and a ceiling. And then after that, uh, we will look at like kind of building a drawer or a, like a bed dresser here and then building an actual bed with storage underneath it. For right now, it's just like I said, it's just cobbled together uh, used pieces of wood. For the power box up here, um, a lot of that will stay. It still has to have some tweaking to it, but it's been great so far. I gotta say, I really love having that power station in the passenger seat area. I do not miss my passenger seat at all, even though I was traveling with someone for quite some time. Just having this passenger seat from Ben's van, tucking it in to that area between the power box was perfect, you know? Um, but now that I'm solo again, uh, I'm not gonna really need that. Although I have been really liking it for sitting and stuff back here. I'm thinking I might figure out some kind of other thing. I do have a folding uh, camp chair and that I might use for when I'm sitting in here cooking on rainy days and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we'll figure it all out as it goes. As many of you guys know, I still have a lot of stuff to do on the, in, uh, the exterior of the van, like drivetrain wise. I need to patch up my exhaust, fix the power steering pump, and give it a good little tune up. You know, even an oil change is necessary for this thing for the amount of kilometers that I've put on it this summer. So we're gonna dig into all of that as well. Um, and as I get work here and there, I will be slowly getting insulation and then wallboard and wire. Wire has been my biggest holdup right now. Um, but yeah, we'll hopefully do it all as it kinda, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing built out either way, but it's just gonna take some time, you know? Most of my budget for the summer totally went into the trip getting down here to Vancouver Island. For right now, I'm going to clean up some of this mess and then uh, possibly take a dump run to get rid of all of the cardboard and stuff that came with the fridge. I am gonna keep this wood because, you know, wood ain't cheap and uh, I think that maybe I could use it for shelves or repurposing it in some sort of other way. So we're gonna hang on to that for now. But yeah, let's get to cleaning this mess up and then I'll check in with you guys after that. Hey you guys, so it's a little later that evening. I did a bunch of reorganizing in the van. Um, it didn't say, I read the manual and it didn't say anything about having to keep it flat after shipping, but I don't think they would have expected it to be laying on its side or whatnot in the shipping. I didn't expect that either. But just for my own peace of mind, I'm not gonna plug it in right away. Uh, I actually have some food in here right now, so I just plugged this guy in for temporary and we will unplug him very soon. But where I don't have much food in that fridge right now anyway, I think my plan is to make some chicken fried rice right now and that will basically eliminate the food that's in that fridge and then we can get it all cleaned up for who it's going to next. Because I am gonna be passing it on um, to somebody who doesn't have a fridge and is actually the same person who gave me that roof vent. So I thought it was only right he gave me something to be able to give something back, you know? Like everyone always mentions, it's nice to pass it on when possible. And I think it'll go to a really good home and get some good use out of it. Another thing I need to do is get, any other, get another hose for this thing. Uh, I haven't had a water pump for quite some time and I've been just kind of pouring it but with the limited space in here right now, it'd be nice to have my hand pump back. So we're gonna run off to Home Depot or something and get another hose for that guy, probably a little later on, if not tomorrow. And yeah, we're gonna be plugging this guy in and hooking him up very soon. Like I say, if not this evening, then tomorrow for sure. And then uh, if we can, we'll try and see how much groceries we could put in this puppy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fill it on my budget right now, but we'll definitely put some stuff in there, set the temperatures and see how it works. I just wanted to do a quick little announcement that I have this guy right now, and we will do a full kind of review in the next video once I've actually hooked it up and used it. But yeah, this is the new, uh, new addition to the van. I'm super excited about it for right now. Just looking at it in its place, 
I'm very excited about it. It does come with a nice bit of packaging. Uh, Brent's van life actually came by earlier. We were having a quick conversation and he mentioned that the dump in Nanaimo is actually a decent way out of town, but there may be some cardboard recycling spots that I could drop that off to. So I'll try and get that done today as well. I did a bunch of reorganizing. I'm loving how I could also use it as a seat. But yeah, I did a bunch of reorganizing. I got all of my stuff that I, you know, didn't need right away, just tucked away at the back, like the roof, the roof vent, and uh, a bunch of other stuff that you guys will see going into the van eventually. Um, I also put the thing that was on top of my, or on top of the box for holding food and stuff. I put both of them up here. So that was a bit of change around. Uh, changed around a few things up here. But yeah, it basically took probably an hour or two just of reorganizing the van a little bit. And uh, I'm kind of liking this seat. I don't know. I hate to get rid of it, but also I'd love to have some space back. So we will see about that. I get a feeling I'm still going to end up getting rid of it. But having something here definitely makes me think, you know. Um, like I mentioned, when we go to build the entire van out, I will be putting stuff in and keeping them there. So right now I'm just testing out a few things. I'm glad that I did put this passenger seat here because it gives me a good idea on having the space inside to cook and sitting comfortably. I always thought that maybe I would just sit on the bed or whatnot, but the bed is actually quite high and you'd be leaning down a lot when cooking. And also I don't really like cooking around my bed because you know, grease splatter or whatever. I do try and cut down on that as much as possible, but it does happen. Um, but yeah, this thing will be going to a new home. And if any of you remember, Mark the Paint Guy is actually the guy who gave me this fridge. So it was passed down to me and now it'll be passed down to somebody else as well. And I love that, you know, um, it's been a workhorse for me, plus 60 degrees in this van at times throughout the summer and it always kept stuff cold. So yeah, uh, I'll put that into a video when I do go to give that away to the person that it's going to. And yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. It's currently 3.30 right now, so I'm gonna get on making some chicken fried rice, and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. But for right now, enjoy some cooking by this guy. <laughs> see how it turns out <laughs> and i'm very excited to be able to have a dual zone this was a kind of dual zone but it really limited the space that you were able to put in here and anything like even a chicken breast package you would have to kind of sit it up or whatnot and i find it just really limited the space um for in here so i just took out it was it wasn't really a, a barrier it was just a little tiny plastic piece that really did nothing besides limit your space so I got rid of that through my use of having this thing. Um, but the biggest problem I had with a single uh, zone fridge is that it's either a fridge or a freezer. It's great for keeping stuff frozen. Like, as you can see right there, everything is nice and cold. But when it came to stuff like eggs, all of my eggs keep freezing. So being able to have a fridge and a freezer is going to be really good. I'm very excited for that. guys after a nice supper i got everything packed away back into the van and uh head off right now to do a few things and i will catch in catch back up with you guys once i get those things done and uh yeah we'll see what else today has in store for us
All right, you guys, I decided to flip the fridge around and I'm really liking it in this position. I do have it hooked up like I showed just right here and then to the inverter. I will wire it in like I did with the other fridge. I just have that wire right here. Um, but I'd like to get fresh wire in the gauge that it actually needs instead of this, the speaker wire. Even though that speaker wire it does work, I like to do that part of it clean so that I don't have to rewire it in the future. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, while I was doing that and cleaning out this fridge for the subscriber that it's going to, I got a call from Brent at Brent's Van Life and he's having a bit of issues with his bus. So I'm gonna run over to his compound right now and go check him out and see if we can't help him. Um, I haven't gotten a call for work yet, so depending on the job, if I don't work with the temp agency tomorrow, I might be able to help him out if it's not a big job or something like that. Hopefully it's not and we can get him on the road pretty quick. But yeah, we're gonna go check and see what he's up to. See you later, dude. Hear that click? Huh? You hear that click? I heard that. I think it's my brakes. Really? Mm -hmm. my, my tire rides are definitely loose, but I think it's my brakes. This only happens when I get to full on. Full on. Okay, bud. Thank see you. See you soon. guys so after talking with brent it's pretty clear that he thinks he got a head gasket blown so he's gonna get the parts uh all the gaskets and stuff really um for the job we were talking about it and uh this weekend if he can get all the gaskets and stuff in then we are gonna try and fix him up and get him back on the road We'll do it right there where his van or bus is parked and um, hope all goes well. <laughs> it's a Chevy so it's pretty simple but uh, yeah look forward to a mini bus head gasket repair coming soon. <laughs> I'll film that job and show you guys because it's Brent and you guys if you guys don't know him go check him out he does a, he has a channel on YouTube as well. Yeah, we'll do that. After that, I'll probably end up heading down towards Victoria if all goes well. So, right now, I'm going to head off up towards Costco. If Walmart's still open, I think I might grab a few things to eat. And um, yeah, then we're going to be dropping off the old fridge. So, let's do it. All polished up and ready to go. Yeah, I got the cord right here, so it just plugs into the fridge, and then that one wires into the fuse panel or whatever. All right, there we go, dude. I'm gonna make my life a bit easier. <laughs> Heck yeah. No worries. Glad I can help. Let's see if it fits into the spot. Shortly after gifting Neil with the fridge. We looked over and seen that there was a car show going on, and I actually didn't film an outro for this video. So what better way to end off the video than with a little local car show here in Nanaimo.
That's it. This is definitely my style right here. You even got the suitcase up top, yep. tools in the back, <laughs> ready to go. Brown interior, I'm in love. Oh, it's got the six badge. Think it's been swapped out yet? <laughs> Uh, Depends how many they have. Yeah. It's beautiful.
After the car meet, me and Neil hung out for quite some time, and then it was time to find a spot to settle in for the night. And while hanging out watching a few videos, when I looked into my fridge and seen the light for the first time, I got very excited. And this is where I'll end off the video. Thank you all so much for joining me on another adventure, and I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. But for now, remember, never give up on living life, because life is the most precious thing we have.